The Chinese government is to provide technical and infrastructural support to schools in Achimerisa in the Burum South District of the Eastern Region. The package will facilitate the construction of new classroom blocks and the renovation of the existing structures. The announcement was made when the Chinese High Commissioner to Ghana called on the senior minister, Mr. Yaosafu Mafu, and the traditional leadership of Achimerisa. One of the main sources of livelihood for residents of Achimerisa, one of the oldest communities in the eastern region, the town has had access to education for more than a century. Erisa is surrounded by bamboo, measuring more than 50 miles radius wide. Even with these privileges and economic potential, youth unemployment continues to undermine the community's development. But there seems to be more relief in the orphan, as the Chinese government has shown interest in providing the needed support to help improve the livelihoods of the residents. A Chinese delegation led by its ambassador to Ghana called on the senior minister and the overlord of Achimewisa to discuss how to assist the local community to develop. Discussions centered on improving access to quality education, entrepreneurship, among others. The Achimewisa Hine Nanakwate Nkakari appealed to the Chinese ambassador to establish a technical and vocational training center to help equip the youth with the employable skills the delegation then proceeded to the Achime Risa Presbyterian Boarding School, where learning materials were donated to the schools in the area. The gifts included computers, textbooks, color printers, mathematical sets, and sporting kits. The Chinese ambassador, Mr. Shi Ting Wang, pledged to offer the needed support for the growth of the local community. Today is the showcase of the China's assistance to the grassroots level in the, to the area of education. We know that education is a key. We know that the local community need assistance. So this is why we also attached our assistance to the grassroots level as important. The senior minister, Mr. Yaosafu Mafu, was grateful to the Chinese ambassador and entreated the schools to make maximum use of the materials. China has the second biggest economy in the world. And therefore, China naturally is one of the most important countries of the world. A population of 1.4 billion people. And therefore... To study Chinese is going to be a big advantage in the future. So it means you may have to arrange to assist Ghana on the whole with teachers so that we can also learn the Chinese language. It is now the language of the future. After inspecting the facilities, the ambassador pledged to build new classroom blocks to help improve the quality of and access to education in the community. The construction of a new classroom block is expected to begin by the end of the year.